Hello, this is Shay Ketchum, and welcome to my reaction to the Indie World uh, Showcase and Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase of August 27th, 2024. It's been a while since my last reaction, so I'm going to be a bit out of it, and also I've got people sleeping downstairs, so don't expect screaming at the lungs type of YouTube reaction that you'd probably find dime a dozen. I missed the initial broadcast of this because I unfortunately had to go to work that day, as per usual. But I've managed to remain unspoiled except for possibly one thing, maybe, assuming that wasn't a hoax. But, enough of me rambling. Let's get into this. Hang on. All right, I am recording. Okay. Hello, everyone. We'll now present today's Indie World Showcase and Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase back to back. First up, here's the Indie World Showcase. Okay. Indie games uh, are typically fun, and of course, I'm also doing this uh, like a few hours before I have to go to work again, so. You know, best time, when you're in a rush. Hi everyone, and welcome to Indie World. I'm Amber. And I'm Andrew. We're back with more indie games headed to the Nintendo Switch system. All right, it's time to lay our cards on the table. Sure thing. Wait, why is there a Joker in my hand? Here's the deal. Ah, okay. Card funds. Very nice. Easy portals. What? The wicker? Vampire survivors? Really? Huh. Also, apologize if. I apologize if you are uh, hearing the squeaking in the background. That's the chair I'm sitting in. Dave the Diver. This is just a... This is a random assortment of games here among us. I mean, they're all very popular to some degree. Although I don't... Is that the... Is that the music from Henry Stickman? God, that's in my head now. Hola, som Nova d'Estudio, l'equip darrere de Gris i ara el pròxim joc neva. El nostre joc és una història de maternitat on els jugadors assumeixen el rol de l'Alba. Començaran la seva aventura al costat d'una petita lloba anomenada Neva. Els capítols inicials del joc mostraran com l'Alba haurà d'encoratjar i protegir una jove neva dels perills del seu punt. Però al final del joc, una neva més gran i ferotge es convertirà en la protectora de la seva figura matern, l'Alba. El equipo ha estado trabajando duro para mostrar una conmovedora perspectiva sobre cómo quienes nos protegen eventualmente necesitarán nuestro cariño y cuidados también. Estamos encantados de poder compartir las últimas novedades del juego y esperamos que os unáis a Alba y Neva en su aventura en Nintendo Switch. Ok, vamos a ver lo que tenemos. I have Gris uh, in my Steam library, I just haven't had the chance to play it, though I've heard quite good things. I will say, from an artistic standpoint, this looks beautiful. And also a bit creepy. I feel like I'm watching... What's a good comparison here? I don't know, some of the, like, the multi, <laughs> multi-faced demon kind of just reminds me of something from, I guess, Inuyasha or something, October 15th. <laughs> Interesting. Creep and crawl your way up the corporate ladder of a bizarre insect megacorp that's buzzing with mysteries. 
In this surreal RPG, you'll take on the role of Mock Cubit, an ordinary employee who's recently received a promotion. But this is no time to celebrate the threat of a mysterious event known as the Final Process is looming. Can Moth and his fellow bugs save the company? Or even reality itself? As you investigate the cramped cubicles and creepy corridors of the corporation, you'll befriend bugs from all walks of life, each with a story that's interwoven with Moth. Not everyone will be friendly, though. Take on enemies in verbal showdowns with multiple dialogue choices and be sure to bring your fighting words. Your choices influence how the story progresses. There are multiple secrets, quests, and endings to unravel. So experiment and see what happens. Moth Cubit buzzes onto Nintendo Switch next spring. The bugs remind me of something, hey guys, but I'm not sure what. AJ and Dio from Tokyo Productions in Indonesia. Okay. We're part of Coffee Talk team. And with our much missed friend and the original creator, Fahmi, we created Coffee Talk and Coffee Talk episode two. Hey everyone, I'm Anna Winterstein, a game designer and a writer. I was the co-writer of Coffee Talk Hibiscus and Butterfly alongside Junkie at Toge. Why is that so familiar? Okawa, a writer and uh, English to Japanese games translator. I had the privilege to work on the Japanese translations of both Coffee Talk games. Today, we are thrilled to announce I feel like I've heard of that, but I just don't. Quarters. I'm drawing a blank. Couple. We've been hard at work over the last year to come up with a story that retains the cozy elements Coffee Talk fans are fond of, but at the same time brings something new to the table. And now, we're very proud to announce an exciting new game for Coffee Talk fans. Coffee, Coffee Talk, Talk Tokyo. Tokyo! Okay. I think I know nothing about Coffee Talk, so what am I getting into here? Oh, is it literally like you operating a shop? Hmm. Oh, okay. So. Okay, yeah, it is like you operating a shop, talking with the customers. It kind of reminds me of Valhalla. I haven't played the game, but I've definitely like seen uh, uh, footage of it, and just like the style reminds me of it. I don't know which came first, Coffee Talk or because they imply there's been previous games. I don't know which of them came first. I may have to look that up. Now brewing, ready to pour in 2020. Okay, that's clever. You, you deserve an honorary golf clap. Let's check out some upcoming downloadable content that will take you to new and unexpected places. Discover a miniature clockwork world in the Sea of Stars Throws of the Watchmaker DLC. I thought the sprite Gear work looked familiar. Gear up for a full of oddities and wonders in which Valir and Zale will have to play by new rules to put a stop to a cursed carnival. Zale will transform into a skillful juggler, while Valir will hmm. dazzle as an acrobat. I haven't had a chance to play Together, Sea of Stars. Together with new playable character Artie, they'll explore new areas and battle through dangerous dungeons in their quest to save the world of Orlidge. A malevolent spectacle awaits. I've heard some good things DLC about it. For sea of Stars launches on Nintendo Switch next spring. I've played the messenger hey, and that was fun. Get out of but... my swamp. Sorry, Amber. What? But just like oh, I power was, wash. this swamp has layers. Wait, Shrek DLC? Need to be blasted away. Ugh, for power fine. wash simulator? I'm ogre it anyway. Okay, enough. Hey, enough with your Shrek time buns. Awaits in the Shrek special pack paid DLC for power wash simulator. Wow. Okay. Feel like an all-star as you wash away the grime covering five Of course you had to make that reference. from the Shrek universe, including Shrek's very own swamp and the Dragon's Lair. Don a shiny suit of armor I honestly haven't gotten a lot of the paid DLC. I mainly stayed with the, the free Shrek stuff. Special pack DLC makes a splash on the Nintendo but I may have to act this fall. But I may actually have to get it when, when that comes out. Our team has because, been working on a new game you know, called Shrek. Morses. 
He plays a mouse fighting against the forces of wicked cats, using magical cards to transform into a bunch of weird little monsters. What? It's a challenging roguelike set in a grungy, whimsical world. My oh, first fetch okay. muscles four years ago was a simple top-down shooter, which is a genre I love. Since then, with the help of Sam and our programmer Higgy, we've been able to turn- I'm sorry, I'm just watching that cat action. because it's just adorable. When people play muscles, they enjoy the frenetic action, but are also charmed by the game's personality. Please enjoy the first ever trailer. I'm charmed by the cat right there. Thank you. I, I, I was barely listening. <laughs> Cheese. Death. It, he looks. He looks like the comedy version of the poop emoji. What in the world? I will say that the sprite work looks pretty cool. I also kind of like the CRT filter here. Okay, that thing is disturbing. It's just giving me... Watch out for this, right? Yeah, that thing that keeps saying save them or whatever, that, that's giving me, like, flashbacks of the great mighty poo from Conquer. It's just disturbing. That's right, household objects, appliances, and even concepts turn into eligible love interests in Date Everything, a game in which you can, in fact, date pretty much everything. What? With 100 dateable characters, there are plenty of unconventional partners to choose Is that man a vacuum cleaner? Fall madly in love with Cabrizio the cabinet. Become besties with Shelly the shelf. Or come to despise Doug. Your, uh, overwhelming sense of existential dread. I like Doug. Um, I think I'll pass on Doug. Can I fall in love with a lamp? No How dare way. you! Lux the lamp is all mine! But did you know that you could even date the game itself? Why don't I what? introduce you to Textbox Chan? Engage in flirtatious, branching dialogue with these fully voiced characters as you get to know them and form meaningful relationships. Perish the thought, swashbuckler. I dry as quick as my wit. Bring your best dating game because your choices could result not just in love, but also in friendship, or even disdain. Find the object of your affection Wait. when Date Everything launches on Nintendo Switch October 24th. Am I high? What did I just see? Hi, I'm Sienna, the lead artist on Peglin. It, it was Dylan, very the game designer of Peglin and the interesting. Of games. The two of us I'll the first give it points for its creativity, but I... The theme of the jam was fall. I honestly don't know fun and what to really say about that. I'm kind of perplexed. When the pandemic started, I'm sorry, let me focus on this. It deserved my attention. Escape. We made cute places and enemies for our little goblin friend to explore. We then added two of our friends to help speed up development. And now four years later, we're a team of seven and we're excited to bring Peglin to Nintendo Switch. Okay. The dragons have been stealing your gold for as long as you can oh. remember. It's time to delve into the heart of their lair and exact your revenge with the power of pegs. In this roguelike Pachinko-inspired yeah, this... RPG, yeah, you'll aim orbs and hit pegs to deal damage in turn-based battles. Yeah, isn't there a game like the this more called pegs Peggle? You hit, the more devastating the blow you'll deal to your enemies. Balance your way to victory with a variety of different orbs. Some can split into multiple copies. Others will pierce both pegs and enemies and some will even heal you for every peg you hit. Hmm. The pegs themselves have some peculiar properties too. I mean, they can explode, help you unlock the critical power of it your looks orbs, cute. and more. With careful planning and aiming, and I like the you can create work. It's some good. spectacular combos. 
Relics will radically change your game too. But I've never been Equip these big into like power these type of games, to be perfectly honest. Pegs into bombs. Just like just to name a few. Each run you know, um, new the bouncing balls uh, to teach those dragons a lesson. Do this. When uh, I, I don't know how to describe it actually. Switch as a timed console exclusive later today. I, I don't know. Hmm. Looks interesting, but still. Is that cow on the couch? There's another thing I didn't think I'd say today. You know, I wonder if any of the games I've already seen by now are like a replacement for something in the Japanese version of the showcase, because that has happened. Usually with something from like Ubisoft, like a dancing game or a or a fashion game. Uh, to replace uh, something oh, like more visual novel or RPG like. Well, that was interesting. Okay, follow Wait. my lead and watch out for the caterpillar. What? Th this game? We're doing great so far. Hey, careful! There's a. Andrew! Oops. Let's try this again. Scoot, scoot. Oh, good thing we're tied together. Look, a key. Let's grab it. Hey, don't trip on my head. Let I'm me... going in. Oh. I don't know if this commentary oh, is so corny down. that it's kind of funny and adorable Yay. or so corny that it hurts team. now let's try it with eight players kind of oh boy kind of a combination cooperation is key in this puzzle platformer Up i thought it was that one players need to work together to navigate levels full of ledges cliffs and other obstacles use strategic stacking Oh god, Pico Park is always like to find all the keys and reach It's always interesting exit. to watch someone there are more than six or like a, a group of people play this. No matter how many players you have on your side. I remember Hollow Live playing it. The park? That was Think again. Even greater challenges away in dark mode. That was a fun mess of a time. Skills and your friendships will be put to the ultimate test. Get ready for multiplayer mischief when Pico Park 2 jumps on Nintendo Switch as a time console exclusive later today. Okie dokie. Can't get enough indies? Here are some more titles headed to the Nintendo Switch system in the near future. Okay. Let's spin it. Ah, okay, the deluxe edition of Shovel of Hope. Gotcha. I wonder if it's really worth getting that in comparison to just Treasure Trove. Europa. Eh, looks nice. Cuisineer? Like, or Cuisineer? Like, Cuisine and Adventure or something? On your tail. I'm not even gonna say anything here, because I think I'm thinking what everyone else is thinking. Metal Slug Tactics. I have never played a Metal Slug game, but... All I know is that the artwork is apparently, like, the sprite artwork is usually godlike. Kind of tempted to play one at some point. The Plucky Spire. <laughs> the artwork looks adorable. I like the picture book aesthetic. Okay, that's all for today's show. Hey, oh, where'd you get that pizza? I found it in that tower over there. What tower? Oh. Yeah. Is it bad that I know basically nothing about this game? Like, I know some people went crazy over it, but I still know nothing about it. It kind of looks like... I don't know, for some reason... What I'm seeing is giving me, like, flashbacks to Wario Land, the Shake It dimension. I'm wondering if that's intentional. But yeah, I've heard that the that it has good music. I've heard that it's fun, I think, but I don't really know 
anything. It, it looks... It looks wild, though. I mean, I like pizza, but... What is... That is a disturbing tomato. Maybe I should check it out. That's all for today's indie world. How much longer we is this? We hope you enjoyed today's showcase. Twenty minutes. As always, a big thank you to our indie community and partners. Textbook, games John. For Nintendo or textbox. Follow John. our official indie world account to stay up to date on all things indie on the. I may actually Switch have to check system. that out because that's so ridiculous. Stick around that for more exciting news and updates just... in today's Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase, Oof. starting right now. Until next time, happy gaming! I don't know whether to laugh at the concept or... I, I don't know. It's, it's so ridiculous that it's both painful and enjoyable. Alright. Now on to the big one. Some of those indie games were interesting, but it's... Hello, everyone. Yeah. Welcome to today's Nintendo Direct. Honestly, it was smart to combine the two. In this presentation, we'll be focusing on Nintendo Switch games launching in the second half of 2024 from our publishing and development partners. Okay, mm -hmm. let's get into the headlines. These games are falling into place. Tetris? Well, looks like Tetris. Celebrate oh, the 40th Tetris, right anniversary there. of Tetris with a compilation of historic games. Oh. Experience the 1988 Famicom version of Tetris. Okay, so it's a Tetris compilation. That's interesting. Chain combos using explosions in Tetris 2 plus Bobless. I mean, if you can't get enough of Tetris, you may as well. Use special moves to win in Tetris Battle Guided. I I'm sorry, was that a pumpkin? And more in this interactive museum, including the games shown here. Companies are starting addition, to learn that enjoy the brand new Tetris Time Warp, where you'll jump what? between gameplay styles from across the series. Okay, that looks actually really cool. That's you can nice. also watch new documentary clips about the history of Tetris and its key players. <laughs> Tetris That's actually Forever nice. Drops onto the Nintendo Switch system this year. They're learning that people want compilations Plus, of older the games. NES version of Tetris is coming to Nintendo Switch Online this winter. Or at the very least, that people want access to older games. Like, much and easier. Be on the lookout for a Tetris 99 Maximus Cup event, also coming this winter. It only took them years Speed to figure that out. Unknown. Journey to the galaxy's depths in this high speed sci fi adventure. What? After receiving a mysterious distress signal, you'll venture through a massive alien world to reunite with your beloved. Okay. Ride the stylish hoverboard to explore stunning landscapes filled with all sorts of alien structures. Whoa. From scorching sands to wavy waters, each area will challenge your traversal skills. I'm getting Sonic Along Riders the way, flashbacks. You'll face enemies in frenetic melee combat. By unlocking skills and combining different abilities, you can find more creative ways to overcome foes. You can hmm. also customize the hoverboard to match your riding style, solve puzzles, and gather resources to boost its speed, steering, gravity, and more. Whoa. Whether you're racing through terrain at high speeds or in the throes of combat, the hoverboard will be there to help you. That's actually really cool. Leave no stone unturned. As you explore every corner of this vast planet, you never know what or who you'll find. Please tell me this is coming Star more to Overdrive. more than just Launches Switch. As a timed exclusive on Nintendo Switch okay, timed next exclusive. Year. For some reason, it was also to giving me. Whatever floats your goat. It was also giving me brutal legend Welcome vibes, and I don't know why. Maybe just, maybe just the, take on the role uh, guitar I goat? saw. We're not kidding. In this sprawling sandbox adventure, you'll headbutt, lick, and explode your way across the island. How did this wreak havoc on anything and everything you find? Want to drive around town? 
join a yoga class, antagonize the locals. You can do all of that and more. Complete quests and gain karma to progress the story. It's kind of wild how customization options. Big goat simulator became like floral shirts and inflatable tubes to goat variants, including tall, angry, and even tasty goats. So there's no way that about person ever expected this. Horns. And you're not the only like seriously Billy around here. Unleash Just the concept of, of you're a goat causing mischief. Couch co -op. Hope you're ready to hoof it because the I mean, to be fair, it's such a simple and funny concept that it's Nintendo like e -shop later today. it kind of makes sense that it became as big a hit as it was. On Nintendo Switch this November. Here's a rapid fire mix of first reveals and game updates coming to Nintendo Switch. Okay, what you got? Trails in the sky! Okay, this... It was not a hoax. This is the one thing I was spoiled to, unfortunately. But that's really cool. Star Wars Hunters. Okay. It kind of figures that... I'm going to be playing Trails in the Sky... Okay. I'm going to be playing Trails in the Sky on stream this Saturday. Or at least I'm hoping to. It kind of figures that the second I'm doing that, that a remake is happening. Well, I've got more incentives so that I can compare the original to the remake. But also, I've been watching some of Nico B's videos playing through the game, and the bottom your playground. I, I just love Estelle. She's become, like, one of my favorite protagonists. She's such a goofball, and I hope the remake no. keeps that. This is Patrick. The silly sea star oh from SpongeBob SquarePants stars in this physics-based sandbox adventure. Wait, Bikini what? Bikini Bottom is your oyster. Oh God! Make some hilarious mayhem by performing whimsical skydives, digging up treasure in the dump, or even blowing off steam in Mrs. Puff's rage room. Okay. Experiment with items you find. From exploding pies so to it's to make the world more Patrick -y. so it's goat simulator and he's not the only but with Patrick here. take on comical challenges from SpongeBob Sandy Squidward and more you know in hindsight in hindsight that actually makes perfect sense hey, you turned out the lights Step into Patrick's shorts and the inner machinations of Yeah, it's mind. basically Goat Simulator, but in SpongeBob, Patrick playing as Patrick. That actually makes a surprising amount of sense. Pre -orders begin later today on Nintendo like, if Wii any cartoon had wacky things happening in... Yeah, trainer? the world of SpongeBob kind of okay, fixed that perfect... Leap. The latest entry in the fitness boxing series is punching oh, its way on okay. Nintendo Switch. For some reason, I thought Newly they went like anime with easier to train fit. more regularly. Use Quick Workout to jump into an exercise program right after launching the game. Once you're done, try going the distance. With an extra workout. Hmm. With mitt drills, you'll practice with your instructor. I know I've your own heard base. of fitness boxing, but I don't remember and in sit -fit where. Boxing, you can complete exercise programs while seated for a different Which training experience. Okay. Thirty brand new songs are included. There are also six instructors, including two new ones. Plus, you can change their hairstyles. Okay, that's interesting. Let them you as you work toward your goals. Nice. Fitness what Boxing 3, about? your personal trainer, launches on the Nintendo Switch system December 5th. Okay, that's interesting. Now this is going to be a match to remember. Is this the SNK Cross Capcom collection? Eight Capcom fighting games are brawling their way onto Nintendo Switch yep. in one collection. Capcom fighting collection too. Here's the complete roster of games. Wait. Capcom versus SNK Millennium Fight 2000 Pro. Yep. Capcom versus SNK 2 Mark of the Millennium 2001. People were expecting this. Project Justice. Oh my God! Finally, the Rival School series. Capcom fighting evolution. Wait, was it just that one game? Street Fighter Alpha 3 Upper. 
Also, I didn't expect fighting evolution. Sword, Nightmare of Pilstein. Oh my god. Power Stone. Power Stone? Really? And Power Stone too. Wait. Didn't Am I thinking of something Each else when I think of Plasma mode. Sword? I know there was like a fighting game that was like sci-fi and everything. You can also visit the museum to enjoy our Oh god, the Capcom vs. SNK soundtrack. Game. It's so good. Capcom Fighting Collection 2 launches on Nintendo Switch. Well, Next people year. were expecting that Plus, as soon as the Marvel vs. Capcom collection happened. When Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection Arcade Classics hyper combos its way onto Nintendo Switch September 12th. Okay, so we finally Digital have a release date. Orders begin later today on Nintendo eShop. Nice. The physical version of the game launches on Nintendo Switch November 22nd. Yeah, the second that happened, people were expecting this, and why not? Next, please take a look at this. Capcom finally realized people want these. They want these playable. <laughs> Only took them, what, over a decade? Didn't mean that to make as much sound as it did. Well, I'm sorry, what? Dicey, like, decorating a simulator with this very obvious RPG? Well, that took a tone shift. <laughs> Wolfman? Can I? Can I have some context, please? Okay, the next, like, Atwire game. The only thing I know about Atwire is the Ryza games, in the and I still- Oh, that's how you play it. All right, let's see some more headlines. Well, the only thing I know is the Ryza games, and I still Adventures haven't played them. Await in these Nintendo Switch games. HD remasters of the first two Suikoden games are coming to Nintendo Switch in one bundle. Why does that sound familiar? Up to 108 allies in these turn-based RPGs. I'm sorry, 108. During your travels, you can strengthen your home base and expand your spheres of influence while fighting for your cause. This collection adds new support features like the ability to speed up combat. That's and nice. Automate battles with a single button. Suikoden 1 and 2 HD remaster. Kate Rune and Dunan Unification Wars launches on Nintendo That's Switch March 6, 2025. I have to look that up because it sounds familiar. Oh god, Dragon Quest. Nope, nope, nope. I am sorry, but I am muting that immediately. I am sorry if anyone is a little annoyed. I'm muting that immediately because you know that the Dragon Quest music will be... Dragon Quest music is very iffy on whether it ends up being copyright problem. Like, you can easily get a strike just from it playing. Games originally released oh my god! DS yes! Dawn of Finally! Portrait Dawn of, of Sorrow, Portrait of Rune, Order of Ecclesia. Ecclesia. Rise Please, again whatever. in a single collection. Thank you. Finally. Arcade classic Haunted Castle is also included. Really? Featuring the original and a reimagined version. Okay. Plus, there's a gallery Interesting. that includes exclusive art but and finally, a music player. People have wanted this. Collection launches on the Nintendo Switch system the, later today. The DS games are so good. Please tell me that's on other systems. It better be. It better be. The award-winning strategy series returns with Sid Meier's Civilization VII. Oh, okay. Rule as one of many well, I have a second. I dropped the water figures, bottle cap. Including newly added leaders such as Queen Himiko. There we go. Friendship is her strength, and she can initiate diplomatic endeavors that help you research new technologies. But, yeah. Expand your territory. Establish your empire across the map. People have been waiting for that collection for so long. 
Orphan Ruin and Order of Ecclesia are so good. Dawn of Sorrow has a more mixed reception, but it's still a good game. But it's good to have, like, so many of the Metroidvanias available. All that you need, Konami. All you need to do now is just put Symphony of the Night on more systems. Like, right now, it's only available on certain certain systems. Put make Symphony of the Night more available. There's a reason it's so legendary. Celebrate the 30th anniversary of the Tales of series. I thought so. Of the action RPG, Art style looks familiar. Tales of Graces F. Once again, I'm not very familiar the with the Tales Asbel. series. Right. I say familiar, Richard. familiar. Meet Sophia's children. We will always be friends. The three soon become lifelong friends. Hmm. Several years have since passed. With their strong friendship and desire to protect their loved ones, the now grown-up trio get entangled in a conflict that will determine the fate of the world. As is in every this RPG. This remaster adds enhancements like destination icons and toggling enemy encounters, that as well as downloadable nice. content from the original game. I'm honestly not very familiar with the Tales series, like, once again, the only one I am familiar with is Tales of Vesperia. Tales of Graces F, remastered, launches on Nintendo like, Vesperia is a good January game. 17. I just, like, that's Two the only game I'm adventures, one cozy familiar bundle. with. What? It's a Sims game. Uh... Okay. I try to remain positive. It's just I have no interest in The Sims. I hope someone gets some enjoyment out of this. They have nothing much to say. I'm still kind of, I'm still reeling from the Castlevania announcement. Also, I have the Capcom and SNK2 soundtrack in my head right now. Just kind of bump into that beat. More help is wanted. Uh, FNAF. Think you've got what it takes to manage this perilous pizzeria? Yep, Test it is. Your it's just a port. And your nerves. In this first-person horror game, I think people are more focused on pizzeria. You'll have plenty of job what, what was it called? What was the recent one called? Into the Pit. A show in the I think salon. people are more focused on that one right now. by playing nostalgic arcade mini games and hopping on attractions like a lot. Even though it's a fairly short game. Sounds easy enough, right? But you'll be doing all of this while avoiding animatronic atrocities along the way. Become a Fazbear Entertainment Superstar in Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted 2, launching on Nintendo Switch this holiday. And if you're looking for more adventures in the Mega Pizzaplex, help Cassie find her friend and escape the room. All right, in this the DLC, DLC for, for Five Nights at Freddy's Security, Security Breach, Security Breach yep. launching on Nintendo Switch this holiday. Let's check out some Nintendo Switch games launching in time for the holidays. Okay. What do you got? Let's give it to me. Come on. Yep. Epic Mickey rebrushed. People have wanted these games to come back, apparently. The concept is interesting. Kind of tempted to check it out myself. It is coming out for some other consoles, right? Never been a big Lord of the Rings person. Hope someone gets some enjoyment out of this. Just Dance. Okay. There's probably something in the Japanese version of the broadcast that's supposed to be here in comparison. Since that tends to happen. Funko Fusion. Yay. Sure. Oh no. Uh, another EA Sports. 
Look at me freaking out in excited glee. Lego Horizon Adventures. A lot of people are crapping on this one, and... Honestly, I don't know. It's Lego. It looks like it'll be fun. I still need to get into Horizon. I have the first game. God, I just had flashbacks to 90s anime English dubs. <laughs> what am I looking at? Welcome to the eastern nation of Azuma. Okay. After a calamity struck, the energy sources known as runes ceased to exist. Oh, it's a rune factory. The land fell into decline. In this fresh take on the Rune Factory series, step into a bigger adventure than ever before. As an earth dancer, you'll channel the spiritual powers of nature through dance. Really? Use That's the sacred drum to help crops grow faster. And the sacred parasol to summon rain. These treasures I'm and sorry. your earth dancer abilities can revitalize the land. I'm sorry, sacred parasol just made me Restore laugh. This once fruitful region to cultivate fields. Yeah, Rune Factory is like... Houses. And has farming simulator elements, right? And establish prospering villages. There's like a lot of game series uh, I haven't gotten into. Venture through the enchanting lands of Azuma, but beware, monsters may lie in wait. Harness your Earth Dancer abilities to confront them and restore too certain quickly. monsters to their human forms. Yeah, it's like an RPG and a As farm simulator. Village life, get to know the community around you and deepen your relationship. I like the designs. Friendship or even romance. Who knows? A wedding could even be on the horizon. Experience a beloved series reimagined. Hmm. How, how extensive is the are the romance the options? Factory, Guardians of Azuma, Can you go for Nintendo same-sex pairs next spring? That would be nice. Next will be our last announcement. Please take a look. Okay. What do you got? Yakuza? Immerse yourself in the Oh no, please. The epic saga please do not let this be a cloud version. Meet Kazuma Kiryu, a Yakuza, okay. I love Yakuza. His clan's I do. And Haruka, a young girl on the run. Also, Two wow, really spoiling the intertwined. first game's plot right off the bat there. Set in Kamurocho, Japan's largest entertainment district. Considering a lot of people the twists and turns of Tokyo's Considering a lot of people start with zero, games. yeah, you're just really spoiling the plot there. Swap between four Granted, it's at the beginning of it, combat. but still. Fight bare knuckle or arm yourself with makeshift weapons. Please, go up against please, anything please, in your please, way. please do not there let this be a cloud version. To be found in oh god, yep. So take a break from brawling every You'll get once distracted in a while. like crazy. <laughs> but yes, no cloud version. No cloud version. Began when Yakuza Kiwami launches on Nintendo Switch October 24th. Good. No cloud That's version. For today's Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase. Thank you for watching. It's crazy how Kingdom Hearts got relegated to a cloud version. But <laughs> but not Yakuza. Sega had at least some st uh, had some standards like no, we're we're not doing that to such a big property. Gotta say, though, it's kind of an underwhelming announcement for the end, because because it's just like, hey, this is our last announcement and stuff. You would normally expect it to be something big, but it's just, no, Yakuza. Oh, okay. Good thing... Good thing I did not go to anywhere on YouTube, uh, like, beforehand, because would have immediately been spoiled. Oh. Hang on a second. There we go. But yeah, that was fun. 
some of the indie games looked nice. Nothing too big from the direct. The Trails in the Sky remake uh, is definitely uh, interesting. Again, I'll be if it figures that it'll be happening the weekend. I'm gonna start doing a playthrough of it because I've been watching Nico B's uh, videos of it and. I've stopped at a certain point, I believe when he got to the city of Zeiss, if I remember correctly. So I kind of want to experience more of it on my own. But it just figures that the second I'm getting into the Trail series, hey, there's an upcoming remake of the first game. I guess I better get through that quick. But it said it was for like 2025, right? So I have time. Hopefully. And it'll be nice to see Estelle. She she quickly became a very likable protagonist from the RPGs I was seeing. I mean, the, from the videos I was seeing. And of course, the Capcom versus SNK uh, coming back, which is nice. <laughs> uh... I'm gonna have to pre-order the Marvel vs. Capcom collection now. Hopefully it's up for pre-order on Steam. Ah, wait, 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 wait. Castlevania. Let me see. Please, please, please. Yes! It is! The Dominus... Okay, yeah. Dominus Collection is indeed on PC. Very good. Very good. It, it, it would have sucked if that was just a Switch exclusive. But yeah, Konami, put Symphony of the Night on more systems. You have a collection bundling that and Rondo of Blood... Put that bundle, maybe with, uh, bundle with some other games, onto other systems. People want still want to play Symphony for the first time. Uh, yeah, I'm running out of time here. But, yeah, overall that was a fun time. Nothing too crazy, but considering it was bundled with an Indie World Showcase kind of weren't expecting anything too crazy anyway, so no big deal. So, nothing uh, really too, well, aside from those things, nothing too big to get excited about, but still fun. Hopefully I can do a reaction to the next Nintendo Direct uh, when that comes out, hopefully as it's being live streamed, but knowing how my life goes and how my work schedule is probably not but um thank you all for watching and i hope uh, you enjoyed this reaction even if it was a bit quieter compared to some others i'm sorry if you were expecting yeah, at the top of my lungs but i know that can get annoying for some people and i have to be quiet at the moment so but yeah Thank you for watching, and have a good day.